Welcome. My name is Cornelia Stornoy, and we've been running on this series, creating software from scratch. So if this is the first time you're coming across these videos, I would recommend that you go back to our old video, especially the one that we were using, uh, we were saying we wanted to, or we were adding MDI form to our project. Then there's a lot of other series um, from designing the database, from linking um, C sharp to the database and so on. So today we want to have a look at uh, how to add a login form to our project. So any serious project uh, would require that you create users and they have to log in using a valid username and a password. So how are we going to add a login form to a project? So uh, having successfully added MDI form and making it as a main form like we did before, uh, we want to add a login form today. So um, just like any other form, you'll right click on the project here, then add um, Windows form. So that is what happens. And then I call it FRM login. There we go. So that is our login form. You can resize it that way. I want to change something like text up here. So I can right click on my form properties and then uh, text login, which is here. Um, starter position, I can say center screen. I may want to remove icon and I may want to say don't show um, in taskbar, but I can still leave it that way. Now, I may not want someone to maximize that form, so I'll come here and come to maximize button here. Um, um, so that form, maximize button, let's say false, so that someone may not maximize that form can still do this. Now, <clears throat> view toolbox. We want to add a label for username, then another one for password. And then we add text boxes. So that is text box for username, text box for password. Then we change the text here can write that user name, password, there we go, make it smarter by doing that, I can increase the length by dragging, can do that, now something on, okay, txt text one so i can call this txt username and then txt password then one thing with a password is that uh, you can change the password character so that whatever you're typing in cannot be seen by password character here I can make it star now so that is almost it for our login form um now i can have a button so i'll have a button here you can say um properties of that button you can say login So BTN login. And later we are going to make that a default when we are in our form here. 
accept button can now be my btn login so that by default when i press enter that is a button that will be clicked now i can have another button for cancel if you don't want to proceed with the process so i can come here properties to this is a uh, cancel then here btn cancel now when i double click on my button here it brings me on the login so this is what i want to do i want to do i want to have a public property here that shows whether the login was successful or not so that when that form will be loaded it will show success or not so i can do that by if i type prop and then press tab and press tab again now a property is created so i can do pull bull sorry then is succeed or is success or is succeeded something like that now <clears throat> So I can also double click on the form so that I can say this dot e succeeded is false when it's loaded the first time. Now, the same thing here is that um, when someone is clicking for the first time, I can say this dot e succeeded is equals to false. And then um, the validation code goes here and then um after the success or after after your code you can now say this is succeeded is equals to true now uh the scope of this video is say that uh, we don't want to really um do a lot of validations or go to the database and get the user uh, you can refer to earlier um, my earlier videos and confirm or check how that can be done but you can do something small for example we have to make sure that some someone has entered the username so you can say if txt dot name dot text dot trim is equals to empty string then uh, we return and then have a message there that um, username required and like we did before we can focus on the username same thing to password So we change the text to now so the rest of the validations to confirm whether that user has been created in that or exists in the database um, will come in here let's say further code to come here so uh, look at this if we return at this point, our e succeed is still false. If we return at this point as well, our succeed is still false. But if it comes all the way down, it means that uh, succeed is true. That is where I want us to stop with uh, the code for the login. So now, let's see how we are going to make login the first form um, before before you, you you run the project. So I'll come back to Solution Explorer. Uh, our MDI form is the first form. I'll double click any on this form to take me to the form load. And this is what I want to do at this point. So still we are going to load MDI form as the first form. But then this is what we are going to do. We'll write this dot enable is equals to false. So that means MDI project uh, the MDI form at this point in time is not active. 
then now we call frm login frm is equals to new frm login and then we load that form show dialog so that means you really have to first of all clear with our frm form before you proceed so i'll come here and now check and say if frm dot e succeed now that is our public very property that we created so um so i'll say if it succeeded i can now i can now enable so this dot enabled is equals to true but if we do not then we say application dot exit so that means you end the application if so what's happening here is that uh, we are loading that login form if it wasn't successful if the login was not successful you exit the entire project but if it was successful now you enable the form so that now someone can continue loading other forms and doing whatever whatever they wanted to do so let's look at that in action so i, I run the project look at that so if i click elsewhere of the form the form is not actually active mdi project form is not active the only one that is active is the login now if i click login says username required so if i put in some name here cornelius says password required if i cancel nothing happens because i've not coded that but i can close there so you see the project is actually ending because it came back when the succeed was still full but let's continue once again cornelius then some password then click ok sorry click login now one more thing here that i forgot to was um at this point in time i'll say this dot close so i have to close that form when it is successful so let's run again there we go there we go so um that is how to add login form to a project make sure it's loaded after the mdi form but our mdi form at that point in time is disabled or inactivated or inactive until someone logs in successfully else you just exit thank you